good morning to you. I want to do a complete overview here on this uh, heating system I've built for my greenhouse. I've had a lot of struggle with it trying to uh, to perfect it and I've actually got it now where it is uh, it's uh, I, I'm quite content with it. Um, I haven't run it enough to say if there's any long-term uh, um, problems with it but I'd like to take you on a tour of it here um, because it does seem to be working exceptionally well so I started out with just a 45 gallon drum which I converted into a uh, into a burner and I do have lots of videos on this already but like I say I've really struggled with it um, so um, what I've found is uh, controlling the draft with a, a duct fan is has been the biggest impact on this whole project so you can see I've got a little bit makeshift on there um, uh, just an elbow going into the original two inch hole that's uh, built right into the barrel and then that this here is a duct blower fan or sorry this here is and the pot is just to kind of restrict the flow a little bit so uh, it doesn't get the full blast of air not that it's incredibly a lot but so from there we have our power cord that goes back into the greenhouse and that's how we control this blower fan when there's a call for heat this blower fan will fire right up so uh, right here is our cold air return this is a manifold with five exchangers going right through the barrel okay so our basically our cold air comes from our greenhouse up into here through the barrel gets heated and comes out under all that insulation back into the greenhouse there so uh, I uh, take and show you the uh, the water heat exchanger here we have a collector that goes in here it's just in a coil comes back out and uh, keeping it I'm not can't remember what that's called but when hot hot air rises water is the same way so you want to keep the water flowing in the direction of lift so there's another coil in here inside the flue so basically it just comes in does a loop comes out of that one goes into another one comes back out back into the greenhouse so uh, as you can see here I've had issues I've uh, got things a little bit warm in the past so uh, I'll take you in and show you how it all comes together in there. All right. So, with my water system, those two black hoses that come in, one's hot, one's return cold back to the to the uh, furnace. Um, the water is pushed out of this pail with just a typical uh, submersible pond pump. So the pump's down on the bottom of the pail there. It runs out, circulates, it heats the water and it brings it back up into this old heater. It's actually out of an old skid steer I had. I uh, have experimented with a smaller radiator and uh, the results were not what I was hoping for. I just couldn't seem to uh, cool the water enough so I've actually switched to an actual heater core which will extract a lot more heat out of that same amount of water there's a lot more the, the fins are a tighter pattern the fins are a lot larger so anyway it comes through here basically through the heater core and it's just got a bathroom fan like in the ceiling of your bathroom and it just blows air through and it comes out the sides here through the through the uh, heater core and then it just returns back down into that pail so it can get sent by the pump to get reheated so I have had issues with this pail getting too hot and that comes from the uh, heater core not extracting enough heat out of the water You'll notice I have a valve on here. I can actually adjust the temperature to this by slowing the water flow down. Um, so anyway, this here just kind of runs constantly. It's filled with antifreeze for the cooler climate and it just runs constantly and just and it's down low. 
and it just kind of gently warms the greenhouse. Now, we have this system over here. That's a fireplace blower fan, and it blows out that cold air return through the stove, and it comes back in right here. So this one here does the, the quick brunt of the heating. It's a uh, very, very hot heat. I've had it up to 125 degrees. Um, it, uh, it's very efficient for such a small greenhouse. And then you'll just notice I have an old window fan that uh, you've probably seen in some other videos of mine. Uh, I think it's found its home now. I dismounted it up there so I didn't lose any uh, shelf space here. So basically the window fan that blower there and the blower that's out on the on the actual furnace are all plugged into one circuit and that one circuit is all controlled by a baseboard thermostat so when there's a call for heat this switches that whole circuit on so it it, it starts forcing air into the fire that blower fan down low starts up, starts blowing air through the big 5 inch pipe here and then also the window fan circulates it. So i um, quite impressed with how quickly it warms the greenhouse up. When there's a call for heat I bet you it's only running for 5 to 10 minutes and then she cuts out again. So it's... it. Uh, I, I, I don't know how to put it. it it's uh, It seems to be very efficient and it's not it doesn't have that nagging noise in the background all the time so we've got this little guy here humming away but it's not too annoying but this one here when it kicks in I mean you definitely know it kicks in so uh, then when the call for heat is met that switch shuts that circuit off and we're just left with that one running so Overall, I'm uh, I'm getting very satisfied with the system, the way it's working. It was kind of a live and learn process, as I'm not a heating expert. But uh, I will say, if you're going to do the water, uh, choose your uh, choose your core carefully. I think a car radiator would work well too. Um, I did have that other radiator off the air conditioner, and it is still plugged. I can get compressed air to go through it, but I can hardly blow through it, like just blowing through it. So. Um, that may not be the way to go and it seems like ever since I put antifreeze in that's when that trouble arose so uh, I do have a thermometer down here which uh, keeps track of my basement temperature which is about 11 right now and I've got one up here and it's showing uh, about 16 degrees 17 degrees almost so uh, other than that the only other change I might make is I might take this timer here and hook it up to this radiant water heat so that it's not running during the day when the furnace isn't running. So uh, it'll circulate heat while the, while the furnace is running but instead of wasting power me having to run out here um, to shut it off, it can just shut off with the timer. So. Uh, I was thinking of a barrel heater, or sorry, uh, a big barrel of water in here and gently warm the water and use it as a heat sink. I don't know if I'm going to need to do that now, but uh, all in all the system seems to be running good, so if you have any uh, questions or comments or uh, suggestions, uh, I might find some time to respond to what you have. Thanks for watching.